Have you been wanting to knit a lacy shawl, but don't want to use fingering weight yarn? Want a little something beefier to go a little bit faster? Stick around. I have some suggestions for you. Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also makes videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. Make sure to check in the description notes below the video where you will find links to anything I talk about on this video, which you're gonna wanna do because today it's the first Thursday of the month, it is Fave 5, so there will be links to all of the patterns that I'm going to talk about. Fave 5 is when I take a theme and browse through, and I do use Ravelry, I browse through Ravelry and find patterns that fit that theme that I, if I were going to start knitting like right now, that that is what is grabbing my attention. I'm not saying that these are the absolute best and like I will fight on that. These are the ones that are grabbing my attention that fit the theme that work in with what I'm trying to suggest to you to give y'all a bunch of options within this category. As always, I love getting suggestions and this month's theme is based on a suggestion from y'all. Now, I'm gonna pop that suggestion up and I chose this one because it is very specific and I, I kind of played fast and loose with it because it is so specific but I don't have a lot of brain power this month at the end of the month because things are a little wacky in my life and having something narrowed down really helped so what we have here from Nelly is I would like to see more lacy and mosaic crescent form shawl slash cowl patterns using sport or light DK weight yarn. <laughs> so this is very specific. And I might actually do a couple of videos from this one, but what I chose to focus on is the idea of lacy shawls or cowls. So these are neck things that are lacy and designed in sport or DK weight yarns. Um, the very specific about being mosaic and lacy, <laughs> there's not a whole lot of that out there. So I, I didn't, I wasn't able to hit that part of it. I will try again for mosaic and lacy. Uh, but right now what we're doing is Neck things, shawls and cowls, DK or sport weight, lacy. So we will get into that. Let me find the right button. So our first one, this is the Yoli Loop by Jennifer DeSau. And I wanted to start off with something that was relatively easy. So this one is actually worked flat. So it's a cowl that starts with a provisional cast on. Don't be afraid of provisional cast ons. They're not that painful, but it starts with a provisional cast on and it's worked in garter, which means that you're not gonna be a whole lot of purling going on. And you have this simple like mesh going on. You knit a big long strip and then at the end, you're gonna graft it together. Um, if you're not into grafting, I'm pretty sure that you could cast on with just a little bit of ribbing and then at the end do um, buttons and make it buttoned if you really want to avoid the provisional cast on. So this is designed in Malabrigo yarn, Silky Merino, which is a wonderful, beautifully drapey uh, DK weight yarn. It's knit on a size seven needle and it says it requires between 150 and 450 yards uh, because it's customizable. Again, however long you want it is however long you knit it. Um, it says diagonal mesh and simple garter edges run the length of this long and narrow infinity loop. Um, as I said, begins with a provisional, worked in one piece, grafted, where it looped as many times. It is entirely reversible, easily customizable, and length and width can be adapted to any amount of yardage. So that is really why I selected this one. It is lacy. It is super easy. 
you need two stitch markers, scrap yarn for the provisional cast on. So this is my first of them. I think it is lovely. It will be a very comforting, very easy knit. The technique and skills used is provisional cast on, knit, easy lathe, grafting. This pattern includes a link to my grafting tutorial. So it could be a fun way to add that particular skill to your uh, repertoire. I do love just the look of it. I think it is lovely and would be a great addition. So our next one, another cowl. Um, I maybe should have mixed these up a little bit more, but it's fun. So this is a short cowl. This is a close to the neck cowl. This is P cowl from Amy Vandelar. And it says P cowl is a slinky lace cowl inspired by Art Nouveau peacock feather motifs, which is why it's called pea cowl, which I think is a really funny play on the word pea fowl, which is like the generic term for peacocks. You know, it covers the pea fowl, which I think is funny. This is DK weight and it calls for outlaw yarn Venitas DK, which is an alpaca merino blend, which is going to account for the slinkiness of it that she talks about. It is on a US size seven, that's 4.5 millimeter and it calls for 205 to 218 yards so it's one skein DK weight um, and let's see here it says if substituting yarn choose something with good drape ie an alpaca or silk blend it says it's 26 inches in circumference and 11 inches tall if you like your cows to be snugger or longer or taller or shorter suggestions are included for resizing fully charted and written instructions so you can follow your preferred type so this one is like the next step up from the the yoli isn't it flat it is reversible like garter lace the easiest lace you can do this one is a slightly more complex lace it's knit in the round but i still think it's absolutely lovely uh, i love the peacock i love anything art deco i'm i'm frequently drawn to amy's patterns you've probably seen me feature her before because i love the art deco so this is a fantastic choice again only one skein uh, absolutely gorgeous now we have a shawl and I love this shawl. This is Nippur by Nitty Consol. And <laughs> this is one of those ones. It's like, I could have designed that. I really like that one. That one, it makes me so happy. So this is in sport weight. It is a sport weight shawl. It calls for a US size four or 3.5 millimeter needle and 600 to 800 yards is what she is asking for. It says this is a rectangular scarf slash wrap. And I think it definitely falls into the stole wrap category because this is really too wide to be a scarf. And it is worked from the bottom up which I really like. So that means you're gonna be casting on the whole length here, but it gives this beautiful directionality to this absolutely gorgeous lace on here. And it says, it begins with the lace section, which is followed by some striping short rows and ends with asymmetrically placed eyelet rows. So you've got more complex lace going on here. A little bit of color. I really think that that stripe of color with the short rows, um, you can see how it seems like I think the colors narrow up here and it gets wider. It's, it's just a beautifully balanced uh, pattern. I think it's gorgeous. I love this style of stole and it's in sport weight yarn. So it says, viscose yarn or any sport slash light DK weight yarn. And so she knit it out of 100% rayon. But again, you can substitute. It says the length is 80 inches by 10 inches. Um, you need 19 stitch markers. That is probably to track your lace. And her difficulty stated is intermediate because of the lace and the short rows. You obviously, the main color, you need 500 yards. The contrast color, you need 250 yards. I just love this. N Nippur, uh, it, I just, 
It makes me so happy. I mean, really, it's one of those ones that's like, hmm. Sometimes you're like, I wish I had designed that. I think it fits beautifully, it's flowy, and it is gorgeous lace. And again, we've ratcheted up the complexity of the lace. So if you're looking for something a little more challenging, this might be your choice. And that is Nippur by Nidhi Kansal. Our next one, we have another cowl. I, I kind of went heavy on the cowls, but um, you'll, you'll find out why shortly. <laughs> this is Lagoon Shallows by Lindsay Luchuk, and it calls for 100% DK weight linen. So it's gonna be incredibly light and drapey and perfect for the spring and the summer. It is, again, DK weight. It calls for US size four, and it says 180 to 360 yards. So obviously there's some variability. You can make it bigger or smaller because that's a fairly wide range. And she calls, says, stitch your way to your favorite Caribbean destination with this relaxing and portable design have a breezy wave texture inspired cow perfect for evenings when you get there love it um it is fully written with a chart repeat and two how-to youtube videos the first one demonstrates the pico cast on and bind off with optional beading the second video demonstrates the decreases used in the pattern so you in that reading, you can see a lot of the reasons why this one grabbed me. The Pico, <laughs> just adore those little Picos. She beaded the Picos because, yes, please, I really want more beads. And I love this lace that she used. It sort of looks like drop stitches, but I'm pretty sure it's a decrease double yarn over kind of situation going on there, which is going to create the, the kind of look of drop stitches, but with a lot more control, which which really I feel makes it elegant. I just, I love this one. I love the diagonals on it. I love the beaded picos, yes, beaded picos. So again, it's DK weight. It's gonna knit up faster. It's gonna drape beautifully. Um, again, she used the linen. I'm pretty sure a silk would work amazingly in this. And honestly, she used the DK because it's a cowl, because it's not particularly fitted. If you wanted to use sport, I'm sure it would work just fine. It's just gonna come out a different size. Frankly, you could probably use fingering weight in it. It's gonna come out a different size, but I think it's gonna still be a wearable cowl. Love this one, Lagoon Shallows by Lindsay Luchuk. And then our last one, we've taken the lace all the way up. <laughs> Okay, look at this, Kir Kirsten Kapoor. If you like lace, if you like beautiful design, definitely check out Kirsten Kapoor's beautiful, beautiful designs. So many amazing things. This, so many things. <laughs> This I selected because it fit in the lace and it fit in, this is a sport weight yarn and this is called Lily Pool Terrace. Uh, again, it's sport weight. She calls for a US size seven. So this is gonna knit up fast and it's 340 to 680 yards. It has both small and large options. And the US size seven, 4.5 millimeter. I'm sorry if I don't always include the, the, the metric. I try to, but sometimes I miss it. The actual yarn she used is a discontinued yarn it is a blue face leister what is the second fiber in it uh silk blend so again silk drapey silk and lace get along so well silk blocks beautifully so that's why you're going to see a lot of lace patterns call for something that has silk content in it because it really blocks beautifully and holds the lace beautifully so her finished sizes are approximately 18 or 22.5 inches deep at the widest point by 60 or 67.5 inches across the top edge. This is 
a, uh, a side to side asymmetrical curved triangle. So it sort of fits in the crescent shape because it definitely is curved, but it's the one kind that starts with a point and you knit some texture, a little bit of lace texture, and then end with this absolutely stunning lace. Oh my goodness. Um, she does say, it says this is an asymmetrical curved triangle and I just absolutely the non lace portions are garter stitch so that will definitely be easy it says this pattern contains both charts and line by line written instructions for the lace pattern I just it's just gorgeous I'm making it bigger on my screen I have this on my screen so I can look at it this this lace pattern on here again this is the highest level of complexity that i have selected for you if you like a lace challenge this is going to do it for you it uses something that's called the water lily uh, from estonian lace which means you're going to have a section where you make big circle you like put a lot of stitches into one spot and then you're going to knit for a while and then you're going to bring them back down into these flower shapes. Just adore it. And it'll be really fun, especially if you haven't done that kind of lace before, doing it in a heavier yarn might actually make it easier for you because you're really going to be able to see what's going on. Also, I'm a sucker for purple and this is absolutely gorgeous. So this is Lily Pool Terrace, Lily Pool, Lily Pool Terrace by Kirsten Kapoor. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, whenever I do these, I also, if I have any patterns that fit in with the theme, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, I uh, like to share them. One is behind here and it doesn't really fit exactly because it's a triangle, so it doesn't have the, cre the crescent, but it is sport weight, it has the mosaic, and it has lace on the edge, but it's not lacy. So I didn't feel like this one really fit. I thought I'd stick it back there, but it's not really it. It's called Ready Player One. I'll link to it in the description below. The one that I was thinking, and I almost didn't do it, but absolutely love is this one here. This is the Scarab Shawl, and it is Art Deco. I told you I love Art Deco, and it is designed in DK weight. You can also use sport weight. Uh, this actual, I'm showing you, this is on my website because this pattern has actually gone through multiple evolutions because originally it was published in a magazine and it was in a DK weight cotton blend that was discontinued. So then it was re-knitted as a sample here, oh, here, and this is in Anzula Ava, which is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. It is sport weight. It is 80% merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. So the first one was DK weight. Um, actually, this wasn't the second one. This was the third one. <laughs> Because the second one, I actually, when the first one was discontinued, I re-knit it in this. So here is the sample, right? You know what? I need to go bigger. Do do do. So this, this is a sport weight, and this is an alpaca blend from Miss Babs, which was discontinued, and then it was knit in the Anzula. So it's been knit in DK, it's been knit in Sport, and it is a crescent, but it is a super long scarfy type crescent. I love, love this pattern. There is a pattern tour for it. I will link in the description below. And it's just 100% lace. I actually uh, have a couple of designs, little alpaca floofs, I actually have a couple designs in this shape and want to design more in this shape. And what I call it is just the fun part. 
because when you're knitting a shawl, sometimes you have, and it's like this one, you have this large chunk of something solid before you get to the trim along the bottom, which looks beautiful. But sometimes I just want to knit the fun part. So instead of going through all of this texture, stockinette garter, this one, you just cast on a whole bunch of stitches and you're essentially knitting the lace trim. It's the lace trim from a shawl without the shawl part of it. I just adore it. And it was gorgeous in this out. This is an alpaca silk blend, but again, it's been discontinued. I just, I love the soft color, but I also absolutely love this. I never know what side it's going to pop up on. This is the sport and this gorgeous color. So you can see it is a flexible pattern and I, I just, this is the one I thought of because it'll work in sport, it'll work in DK. Oh, let's get some yardage for you. Uses a US size seven, 4.5 millimeter between 310 and 330 yards. Again, it is long and narrow. It is nine inches tall, so it's not a very big fall and 67 inches long so <laughs> that is big or i also have seven and a half inches by 56 inches so it depends on how you're knitting it what kind of yarn you're using for it those are my fave five cowl or shawl neck things in dk or sport weight yarn that are lacy Again, oddly specific, but what I needed to keep me focused this month. I would love to hear any suggestions you have for future Fave 5 videos. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.